Alrighty everyone, now I'm going to show you very large power levels for free. Cost nothing. I mounted the spark gap. He's hooked up in induction mode here with midpoint ground. Okay. We have the resonator going on, all that. I set him to 20 volts, 1.5 amps. Okay. And uh, we have two um, neon antennas I put on there with a bolt. I don't use my finger to turn him on, and I make adjustments when he's turned off. So he is on now. He runs 0 watts, 8 watts open circuit, costing nothing. This is second earth ground, okay, to screwdriver. This doesn't cost anything, okay? I will show you that. This is what comes out of this. Very high frequency, and it costs nothing. And there's a lot of power there. A lot of power there. Okay. Here you go. The loading that you see on the meter there, that's the sporadic loading from one side to the other. Okay, and this side does the same. This is only half of the coil, this is to midpoint. So you could take potential from this side to this side, right? And uh, it's quite, quite wild. It's quite a lot there. Ooh. I don't want to get too close to that because that'll really bite you hard. So he tips the meter just ever so slightly. You can turn him down to the point that he does not. A lot of power there. Okay. You want more, and that spark gap's running by the way, you can see it there. You want more power, well then you're going to put a cap AC, this is a lot of power though, you're going to put a cap AC across that gap, right? But I don't think, I mean there's a lot of power. Alright, enough of that, I turn them off, screwdriver, shut that shit down. He can go up much, much more.